Insipid angel. Boom, 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 boom. Crash! Crash! Where are you, big brother? There's something weird going on in the bay. Come see! What have I got? It is I, Aku Aku. My duty is to protect you. You may summon me by breaking open these crates. Call me thrice, and I shall grant you special powers. What have I got? Oh, my God. 
Have more fun. Spikes broke my fall. Hey, hey, hey! Yeah, you! I've been doing this for ten stinking years! Back and forward, back and forward, and I'm sick of it! Well, I'm not gonna do it no more! <laughs> Surprised to see me crash? Like the fleas in your fur, I keep coming back. Three years I spent alone in the frozen Antarctic wastes. And I missed you. And so I've organized a little gathering, like a birthday party, except the exact opposite. And look, all of your friends are here. You are so very popular. Let's start handing out the presents. This is from Tiny. Dingo Dial. Ripperoo, you shouldn't have. Pinstripe, how thoughtful. Oh dear, two of the same. You don't look like this. Here's one gift you can return.
hydraulically operated twin brother Mecha Bandicoot. How was I, Dr. Cortex? You are magnificent. Of course I was, you fool. Initiate missile attack. Oh! 
power crystal. Crystal is mine. Ha! Keep back, you weak minded fool. Avert your gaze, or you'll go crystal crazy. <laughs> Throw me over there. Trust me. We're pals, right? Exactly. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! 
in there. How are you fools? Before the awesome might of the evil twins. Aren't you too adorable? Let me see. I might have some chalky treats here for you. Chalky treats? Oh, We've some good news and some bad. The bad news? We're going to destroy your precious islands. The good. You won't be around to see it. How tiresome. Oh, you want to play mind games? Okay, tough guy. <laughs> Let's play mind games. This is the part where you run away screaming. <laughs> Go on, run! Catch you later, Brainiac! <laughs> To help me crash. You heard them. They want to destroy our island home, humiliate and enslave you, and steal my brain. How I envy the simple life of the tribe's folk. Living in harmony with Mother Nature, the noble boar, the humble bumblebee. Ah! <laughs> 
Oh, can you see?
Oh, Crash, the farmer's market is tomorrow, and my wumpa trees won't grow, for my orchard is riddled with greedy worms. If you rid my land of these pests, I'll give you this power crystal. I'm an evil scientist. What do you expect? This isn't a game. Come along! I tell you, you boys have been doing swell. Just swell! Anyhow, we've been taking in the sights of Insanity Island here. Nice digs. So much to see, so much to destroy. You got the native village, the lava caves, the totem gods. Yeah, back in the 10th dimension, we don't have anything near as nice as the totem gods. The vivid colors, the intricate common, you know, it's almost as if they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Almost exactly as if they're alive. <laughs>
But even now, our vice versa reverse the device is in operation, sucking the goodness out of this dimension and leaving behind the worst of all possible worlds. We just like making a mess. <laughs> See you around, losers! <laughs> Say, is it lunchtime yet? Tenth dimension. Yes, yes! In the dark ocean of my intellect swims a magnificent whale of a plan. To the laboratory! We're not beaten yet. The game is on! Come along! Before you rises a cathedral of diabolical genius. Scary, but in the wrong hands, this iceberg lair could do much goodness in the world. Of course, only I have the key. Observe. Follow me. I know another way.
check bounced. Are you sure? <laughs> well, the past few years have kind of been slow. Wrath of Cortex didn't do as well as we'd hoped, and... <coughs> Fish?
again! Mighty Uka Uka! Who has released me from my icy tomb? My, my! Can it be? Crash and Cortex? I don't know whether to kiss you or kill you! greater than even yours threatens to destroy this world. No! That's my job! Divided, we are but two magical masks. Join me, and together we shall defeat this evil infestation. I like a challenge. I accept. This should be fun! The Aku Uka brothers, together again. Come along! What have I got? must make preparations for... It's probably for you. Trick or treat! Trick or treat! <laughs> Fools! You thought these two party toys could defeat us? We are masters of the infinite dimensions with power over reality itself! And riches beyond imagination! Riches? Riches? What's wrong with you? Always bringing up the riches! You don't remember us, do you, Doctor? Should I? You ruined our lives! Allow us to return the favor. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 
Nobody likes you. A curse on you, Crash Bandicoot. A curse on you all. We shall return. Oh, forget I mentioned the richest thing, huh? Dr. Cortex, what have you done? Who are these evil upstarts? I've ruined the lives of so many. I can't be expected to remember them all. Such a big head. Such a tiny brain! If we deliver him to the evil twins, perhaps they will spare us. But they'll kill me! That's a risk I'm willing to take! Crash, I've been like a father to you. I created you, nursed you, tried to destroy you. So what do you say? With my mighty intellect and your vacuous stupidity, we'll be unbeatable! This way! To the Psychotron! This is the Psychotron, gateway to the infinite dimensions, beyond our universe, somewhere between the ninth and eleventh dimensions lies the mysterious tenth dimension, and there we must go in order to confront the evil twins, steal the riches, and restore the natural order of things, with me on top. We require six power crystals in order to make the leap, and we have... Or, hmm, let's see. That isn't enough! All is lost, unless... Come along!
Sarah, to the sea, I tell you. Our salvation floats upon the briny blue. We must reach Engine's battleship and quickly before it sets sail. But how? Think, Cortex, think. <laughs>
I've never been so humiliated. No amount of treasure could ever begin to compensate. Treasure and I? Monza.
are leaving the sinking ship. Tell us where the treasure is and we'll let you go. Silence! Looks like we'll have to wring it out of him. Embryo, get changed.
Come along to the Psychotron. What have I got? My crystals! Ruined! Thanks to Perky here. Must be repaired, and only one person can help. My niece, Nina Cortex. Isn't she delightful? Obviously, I've made a few modifications here. And there. <laughs> Quickly, to my private dirigible. Set a course for Madame Amberley's Academy of Evil. Come along. <laughs> My airship. It's the only way to fly. Hey, hey, so this is how the rich and the ugly fly. Oh, still it is. Will I have another bag of those spicy peanuts? <laughs> I will. Boring. I shall crush you like a puny once you are. You are nothing to me, for I am the great and all-powerful neocortex. You infantile vermin. How dare you walk manhandle and manipulate me? Rest assured, I will take my terrible vengeance upon... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Skip to the good bit. What have I got? Ah, yes, the old alma mater. As a former student myself, I'm well acquainted with the many secrets this institution holds.
Greatest evil scientist in the world! Stuck in a pipe. How could things get any worse?
Cozy, ain't it? Rumour is you two chumps have got your mitts and some treasure. And I want a piece of that pie. I have no idea what you just said.
<sighs> I'll take it from here. Get back to the airship. Make sure its mooring ropes are secure. What have I got?
Samlinina. And don't fear the night, with its long claws that scratch and its sharp teeth that bite. Under the covers, there's no need to hide, for your uncle's a monster, and he's on your side! <laughs> Nina, my adorable young niece, my, my, you're getting big and sneaky. Put her there, little lady. I see they need some adjustment. Let me take a look. Okay, young lady, let's see what you've learned. Thank <laughs> you. 
Found us! Through the airship! Quickly! Madam Amberley. So, Crybaby Cortex is all grown up. I see you found employment as a barber. I'm an evil scientist. A scientist, are we? To me, you'll always be a little verb.
Now, the way it happened, happened. Victor, Moritz, back in your cage, you naughty boys. I was eight years old and the most popular student in the academy. Ah, yes, how they loved me. It was my first experiment with the Evolvo Ray. Phase one in my plan to create an army of super animals. The test subjects, my two pet parrots, Victor and Moritz. The only creatures I didn't load or eat. The experiment was proceeding as planned, when suddenly... My parrots were gone, lost amongst the infinite dimensions. I was heartbroken. <laughs> How I missed those twins and how I long to see them again. But be careful what you wish for, young man. Back off, Grandpa! For your wish will come true. now as we explore a new dimension it should have been two new dimensions but we ran out of time <laughs> your fur is so soft and warm
Ah! Evil Crash! No! Come along! My daughter, uh, niece! We must do something! Think, Cortex, think!
りまりなゴルバがあ
There they are. Let her go. Take me instead.
come along! Karen Moritz's stronghold of evil. This is where we wrong the rights and sweep the past under the rug.
my, I almost forgot. The treasure. Our treasure. Yes, we are rich. That treasure is stolen property. It's a little late to develop a conscience, Doctor. Personally, I don't care. But I think he might want his gems back. <laughs> hmm. You two little rascals have been very busy since the last we saw each other. Busy finding a way to meet you again! Your failed experiment sent two innocent parrots to the tenth dimension! The severe reversal radioactive conditions here sharpened our skills and warped our fragile eggshell minds. Ingredients? Our classic recipe in the Evil Villain Cookbook. Hee <laughs> You see, Pops, when it comes to evil scientific prowess, we learned from the best. True. Now, playtime is over! Victor, Moritz, back in your cage, you naughty boys! What am I doing? Curse my regimented upbringing! That's it, Cortex. You want to make up for lost time and play with your pets? So be it.
love roast chicken. Well, this is one heck of an ending. <laughs> you know, Crash, for all these years I've been wrong about you. Your creation was a mistake, and your existence has been a constant reminder of that mistake. But I've learned something from all of this. I've learned that you can't run away from your mistakes, but you can bury them! I never want to see your ridiculous face again!
Okay. Now, the two of you have been asked to begin these therapy sessions so that we can work through the conflict apparent in your relationship. This week, we're going to do a trust exercise. Cortex, let's start with you. I would like you to fold your arms over your chest, close your eyes, and fall backwards. Okay, Crash, your job is easy. Just catch Cortex as he falls. We want Dr. Cortex here to know that he is in a safe place. I don't think this is going to work. He's an idiot. I don't even like him, let alone trust him. It's just that I have a fear of falling. Okay, fine. Let's do the silly exercise. I'm in a safe place. I'm in a safe place. I'm in a safe place. <sighs> oh, how I hate bandicoots.